So you're interested in kinesiology and you're wondering what are kinesiology classes like? So in this video, I'm going to tell you pretty much a general understanding of what kinesiology is and what to expect in these classes. So let's get into this video. Lego. Hey everyone, what's going on? My name is Dr. Lift for Change, Justin Lee, physical therapist. When I learned this, this was super fascinating to me. Like I will never forget when I was interested in this whole movement, exercise thing, and I had no idea what I wanted to do in my future, when I took my first kinesiology class and learned this concept and took that first class, I was like, Oh, this is exactly what I want to do for the rest of my life. Like this is just, I know it's such a simple thing to understand, but the taste of learning about human movement and all the intricacies applied and uh, connected to that, I was super passionate about that field. And so when I learned about this same, this similar concept, and then looked at all the different classes that I was gonna take in this major, I knew that I was in the right field. And I'm gonna list these different types of um, similar courses and classes that you might find in a kinesiology program. And if any of these sound interesting to you, then you should really consider majoring in kinesiology, exercise science, exercise physiology, or any of those related health and fitness and movement fields, all right? So um, check this out, you guys. Some different subjects besides just what we talked about here, different course titles might be biomechanics and posture. So biomechanics, you'll learn more of the mechanics of the body, right? So like every joint in our body, whether that's the finger, the elbow, the neck, right? The shoulders, the back, all of that has a certain biomechanics. And all of those need to know, all of those joints need to be moved by muscles and nerves so that a movement can occur. So when you think about, let me get freaking uh, educated, or, positioned here if you think about trying to pick something up you're learning about the biomechanics of what joints are moving in order for that to happen so biomechanics is so cool and I think if you're really interested in movement biomechanics is gonna be the fundamental thing that you have to learn to really move your understanding higher and higher so other things are like fundamentals of movement. So like mo regular movement, like walking, reaching, maybe different sporting activities like dancing, ballet, uh, dodgeball, soccer, basketball, volleyball. You'll kind of learn some general movements, jumping, right? Uh, that occur in those different sports or activities. You might have coordination and control and balance, which is all part of movement as well. Right? Like when individuals get older, their movement and balance declines. So you have to learn how you can improve that balance or learn, have a good understanding of that so that you can help other people when that happens. Um, of course, exercise physiology, which is basically how your body reacts. The physiology changes when you apply exercise to it. So for example, when I start running, my breath starts to increase and my heart starts to beat faster, right? That is a physiological change that happens when exercise occurs. Woohoo! Now we're getting interesting, huh? We have nutrition and fitness, right? Of course, you've got to learn about your macronutrients, your micronutrients, your water intake, the amount of protein you should take, carbs, fats. Um, different amino acids, all those different nutrition and how you can apply that to your body and fitness and improving your performance. Um, you have neuroscience, which is a whole different crazy thing about the nervous system, about the brain, about different parts of the brain that, that uh, uh, control different parts of the body. Maybe like the cerebellum, like the back part of the brain that controls a lot of movement and fine motor skills, right? Things like that. Um, You'll learn exercise design. 
So how to design an exercise program to meet someone's needs. Because person A and person B are gonna be two different types of people, right? They're, one person might be older and they might need some balance and coordination. One person might be younger and they might need to grow some muscles. So you gotta design an exercise program that will meet their needs. And you'll learn how to do that in your classes. Um, and of course, you'll learn about different types of injuries and disorders and pathologies like musculoskeletal injuries, whether that's uh, rotator cuff tears, right, uh, spraining your wrist or uh, hurting your neck, right, things like that, ACL tears. And uh, that will be a little bit more of an introduction if you want to take your education to the next level so that you can rehab people that sustain those injuries to get into professions like physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, any kind of therapy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I went through just a general list of different classes that you may take as a kinesiology, exercise science, or any related major. Now, if anything that I talked about was super fascinating to you, I would highly recommend that you take a major in this related field. Health studies is okay, but I would stick to more of like a kinesiology, a movement type of uh, 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 degree versus a health degree kind of thing. Um, but I just wish somebody made a video like this to give me a little bit more insight as to what what like was out there. What is this field really entail and what are the classes like? So I hope this video was really inspiring and insightful for you so that you can really gain an understanding of what kinesiology, exercise science, and those related fields will be before you declare that major. In this channel, you'll find videos on everything related to the physical therapy journey from picking a major and deciding whether or not you want to get into PT school tips and strategies for the application process, study tips for PT students, and more. And if you have some maybe aches and pains on your body, you'll find videos on how to rehab those parts on your own. So if any of that resonates with you, please feel free to subscribe and hit those notifications. Hey, if you like this video or if you have a friend that likes this video, please share this with them so that they can gain that insight as well. If you liked it, give this video a like and comment below if you have any uh, follow-up questions regarding anything that we talked about here. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Stay lifting, stay aloha. God bless y'all. Have a great one, you guys.